In this video, we're going to explain to you guys why these cheap batteries are better than high-end Traxxas ones. How's it going guys? Josh here with Trax RC, and today we will be discussing with you guys why we will no longer buy new Traxxas batteries. And you guys also may have noticed that we do have a new intro now. Our old one was just kind of dated. It was our old logo and it was just not fun to watch for us anymore. So that is why we just decided to change it up a little bit. And guys, let us know what you think of it. We think it is a great new addition. And before we start going over the batteries themselves, we just want to invite you guys over to check out our website. Make sure you click the link down below in the description and it will take you to our website. And there we have a ton of information. We have reviews on all of our RC cars. We have our merch shop. We have the RC news page. We have the build breakdowns page and many other pages that you guys can look at to learn more information about us and our channel and some of our RC cars. And if you do visit our website, please give us feedback on it in the comments on any of our videos so that we know what we need to improve on. All right, so now we're gonna talk about why we no longer will buy Traxxas batteries. So for you guys to get the full idea, we're just gonna go back a few years to where we first started out in the hobby. Actually, my first LiPo battery ever was this one right here. Now, I don't know if it was this exact same battery, but it was this variation of it. It was a 2S 5800 milliamp hour Traxxas LiPo. And then I got another Traxxas battery of the same model just because I really liked it and I just wanted to have a second one because why not? And then after a few cycles between those two LiPos, I got two more Traxxas batteries. Now up to that point, I had four of this exact same battery right here. And all of that was probably like four to five years ago, I'd say. And about a year ago, I've had three of those batteries die. One of them started to puff up, so I just threw that one away. And then two of them I actually still have, but my charger won't charge them for some reason. Those two are not puffy or anything, and they show no signs of significant wear, but the Traxxas charger just won't charge them anymore. So right now, this is my only working Traxxas 2S light bulb. So as I just mentioned, I had three of the four Traxxas batteries that I had die. So I looked at Amazon and just found like some cheap batteries and those batteries are Flurion batteries. I have a total of five Flurion batteries and I know other people that have about that same amount and none of us have had any issues with them. And the reason why I decided to get Flurion batteries is because they're just so much cheaper. Like I got two of these 3S Flurion 5000 milliamp hour, I think this is a 55C battery. I got two of these for like 50 bucks when you can get two Traxxas 3S batteries that are basically the same one for like over a hundred for just one. I got two of them for 50. So I would say that like Flurion batteries are a quarter of the price of these. And personally, I mean, I don't have any problems with Traxxas batteries. They've lasted for me for like two to four years a piece. So I know some people dislike Traxxas batteries because one, they're overpriced and I agree with that but some people just don't have good luck with them. Me personally, I've had fantastic luck. And I forgot to mention when I had those three batteries die on me, they were probably within a month. Like they all died at the same time. So I had three batteries that I needed to replace and I just didn't want to spend like $150 on three batteries. So that's why I got multiple Flurion batteries instead. Now my personal opinion is that you can have cheap batteries and as long as you have a really good charger, then you're safe basically if you just take care of your batteries. So basically you can cheap out on batteries a little bit. You obviously don't wanna buy like a generic one off Banggood. That's the cheapest one you could find. I would not recommend that. But what I would recommend is if you're on a tight budget, get a cheaper brand such as Flurion, but get a premium charger. Because if you get a premium charger, you're paying for overall better quality but also safety features. The charger that I would recommend is the Venom Pro Duo. I've been using this thing for a few months now, I would say, and I don't really have any issues with it. And we do have a video of unboxing this charger and I'll put a link to it right up here so you guys can watch it if you haven't seen it already. All right, so to sum this video up, basically Traxxas batteries are too expensive. Not for me anymore. I do not want to pay that much for a battery when these Flurion batteries are a fraction of the cost. And in my opinion, 
about the same quality. I also want to mention that if you're a complete beginner in the hobby like I was when I got my first Traxxas batteries, I mean, these are actually good for beginners because like they have the whole ID system and all that. Yeah, it's going to make it more pricey at first, but I think it's worth it so then you learn about stuff first. And then once you become more familiar with your batteries, take it up a notch, get something with a balance plug. And that is also a, another valid reason as to why I will never buy another Traxxas battery. I just need to have a balance plug. Because if you get Traxxas batteries, they're sucking you into more of their products by making you buy their lipo checker because there's no balance plug, so you need an adapter. And then the chargers too. And those things are just so overpriced. But they are high quality from my experience at least. Alright guys, so enough ranting. I hope that you are still awake after that. So that's all that we have for you guys in this video. We'll put a link to all of these batteries in the description along with the Venom charger if you want to check them out. So we hope that you guys enjoyed this video today and you learned something. If you did enjoy this video, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Tracks RC.